everyone, my name is Iris France, 不叫林宛如 Today we're going to continue to talk about buying and selling. In particular, I'm going to go over Valerian's book, Figure 9.6. So remember, in the previous video, we talked about that we had the initial endowment, omega 1 and omega 2. Now, given the initial price P1 star and P2 star, then we're not going to trade with anyone. We are just going to consume our initial endowment. Omega one and omega two. So that's the、uh, middle figure, the middle panel, where your price is P one star, and I'm just going to consume my initial endowment, omega one, omega two. I am not trading with anyone. So at point A, I call that no trade point. If the price of good one goes down, then that makes it make sense for me to buy more good one. So we're in the buying good one zone. And therefore, I'm going to say if I'm in this point, that means I am going to consume a bundle X1, X2, where my X1 is going to be higher than omega one. That means I am a net buyer of good one. But if the price of good one has gone up, say the price of good one is higher than P1 star, that means it makes sense for me to sell good one and to buy more good two. So I am selling good one. I'm in this area. So what happens if my price is lower than P1 star? We know that we're going to go ahead with we're going to go to the market to buy more good one. So when the price is P1 star, notice that this is my net demand for good one. So when the price of good one is exactly P1 star, that means I'm buying zero good one because I'm enjoying my stock endowment at home. I'm not buying any additional good one. Once the price is lower than P1 star, that means I'm going to start to go to the market and buy some additional good one. So you can see I'm starting to buy more good one. And up to what point? Say up to when the price is zero, I end up buying one one additional units of good one. That means my gross consumption of good one is equal to my initial endowment omega one. Plus y one, okay. So this is my gross demand, and this is my net demand, and therefore you can see that triangle zero p one star and y one is identical to this triangle omega one a, omega one plus y one. So you can see these two triangles are identical, and this is my net demand. It shows how many more units of good one did I purchase in the market. Whereas gross demand shows me how much good one that I consumed. Now you'll be asking, what happens if my price of good one goes higher than P1 star? Well, in that case, we're going to start to sell our good one by cutting my consumption of good one. So what we will do is here. Look, when the price of good one is still P1 star, then I'm supplying zero unit of good one. But if the price goes higher than that, I'm going to start to sell my good one, and I cannot sell more than my initial endowment. Therefore, suppose the price is P1 bar, then I'm going to sell my entire endowment omega one. So you can see that when I'm selling more good one, I'm also cutting my consumption of good one, which means my triangle P1 star, P1 bar, and A is a mirror of triangle B, C. P one star. So these two triangles are actually identical. They are mirrored to each other. So I hope this helps, and、uh, I'll see you next time.